Hi folks, welcome to another product review with GuitarIngenuity.com. So today I would like to have a closer look at the Vox AC30 AM plug. So we're not talking about the original amplifier by Vox, but that little device here, which turns out to be an extremely helpful and useful accessory if you want to practice electric guitar with your headphones. So in my situation, for example, I like to spend some time with my family in the evenings. Now, they don't necessarily like the TV shows that I like, so I end up watching uh, The Voice or American Idol or whatever, and um, that's not necessarily something I'm interested in, so I would like to take the opportunity to practice some guitar while I still sit with them in the same room. And that's when this little thing comes in extremely handy because it lets me just plug it into my electric guitar, um, attach my headphones, I don't disturb anybody, yet I get an amplified sound through my electric guitar. So I'm going to zoom you in a little bit and show you exactly how to use it and what you can do with it. Alright guys, here we go. So this is it. This is the Vox AC30 AM plug. It's pretty much self-explanatory. Um, here's the jack where you just put it into your um, guitar, where you connect it to your guitar. It has an AUX input right here. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but right here you can attach your um, MP3 player, iPod, iPhone, um, so you can use that uh, to play back tracks and, and listen to it. And um, it also obviously has a headphones output. This is where you plug in your headphones, or in my case, for the purpose of this video, I will use my PC speakers. Uh, the plug is is the same, but for this video, I obviously wanted to use speakers so you hear what's going on. Now, it does have three control buttons up here, and I'm not sure if you can see that well in the video, but it basically, um, the way it's configured, it has a volume control uh, button here, um, a tone button, and a gain button. And um, the best way to describe it, how you use it, is by just showing you um, how to use it in a little bit of a uh, in, in a live demo. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to connect my PC speakers to the headphones output here. And here's an on and off button. You probably heard it. And um, I'm just going to plug it into my guitar now. I'm going to turn it on. So as you can see, the device is now plugged into my guitar and here is the speaker or headphone output. And the volume is set to eight, but tone and gain are set to zero. And you will notice immediately, you don't hear anything. So what you need to do in order to produce any sound, you need to bring the gain up. I'm gonna set it now to three. And you should start hearing the sound. So let me bring that up a little bit more, maybe to, to six. And you see it's a very muddy, low sound. That's because the tone is set to one. So you can, we change that in a second. So just to give you an idea how it sounds. So let's bring that up again. That's the gain button all the way to 10. Same riff. Now let's add some tone here for the lag of the better term. So right now it's set to one. Let's bring that up to five and you will see how it changes the sound of the guitar. Again, this is full gain and the tone set to five. Let me bring it down again to one. You hear the difference? This is one, this is five. 
And now let's bring the tone all the way up to 10. <laughs> Just another example. Tone set to 10, tone set to 5, do the same thing. Tone all the way down to 1. So now maybe let's bring the tone to f to a 5 or a 6 and the gain, re let's reduce it from a 10 to 5. So the sound starts to get cleaner obviously. Let's bring the gain all the way down to a 1. Again, no change to the tone, which is still set to 5. To 1, and you'll see, again, no sound. So the gain is also uh, some sort of volume control without any gain at all. You won't be able to produce a sound. And again, my volume is all the way up to 10. That's just something you gotta keep in mind here. Um, let's go back to five and five as far as gain and volume is concerned. Uh, solo lines. So let's go full gain to a 10. And add or bring up the tone to a 10 to. So that's pretty much it. Of course, you can change that to any position, uh, a pickup position you want, in order to change the sound. All right, guys, that's really it. Again, um, a nice, neat little device. I just turned it off. Um, easy enough to use. It it does require a battery. You see that right here. These are triple A's, I assume. Yeah, two triple A batteries. They come with the device as you ordered. I got mine through Amazon, was there in like two days or so. And uh, again, in my opinion, worth the money uh, if you need a, a practicing device where you can use your headphones and um, you, you just don't disturb. You just don't disturb the folks who are around you. And um, I like it a lot. I actually use it more than I thought. The sound quality is great. Um, no, no complaints. I mean, um, I know sometimes people claim it almost sounds as good as the original amp. I think that's a little bit of a stretch, even though I do not really know the original box AC30. But I think for a device of that size and for the for the price, it produces a really, really nice sound. So it does come highly recommended. If you have any questions around this little accessory, you can always send me an email at guitaringenuity at gmx.com or just leave a comment uh, below this post. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.